Hey boys and girls, welcome back to another mod review. People seem to really like this series, so I'm gonna keep pumping them out as best as I can. Hey, you know what I like? I like ad revenue, but you know, we can't always have the things we like. Shout out YouTube. Anyways, enough about my sad YouTube career and on to one of the most underrated mods, at least in my opinion, of the big three, the spirit mod. Let's get into the mods description. The spirit mod currently adds in 1085 new items 10 new bosses and six new mini bosses two new events one mini biome and of course the spirit biome itself six new ores 133 new enemies and six town npcs so we're moving on into the pros and cons we're going to start off with the pros so like i said earlier in my opinion the spirit mod is the most underrated of the big three this big three that I always talk about consists of Thorium, Calamity, and the Spirit mod. This mod has so much to offer, and if I were to compare the style of this mod to the other two, I would say it's more of a Thorium type mod than a Calamity type mod. Anyways, one of my favorite things from this mod was the boss fights. The bosses from this mod are so beautifully sprited and they all have unique AI and fights unlike some mods that I've reviewed in the past. <coughs> oh. Tremor, Tremor, why, sorry, uh, there was like something in my throat. Like most mods I review, the sprites in the mod are amazing, so shout out to all the spriters that worked on this mod. So let's move on to the way this mod progresses and fits into Vanilla Terraria's progression. With this mod alone, it seamlessly fits into Vanilla Terraria. This mod legit seems like you're playing Vanilla Terraria, but with a new DLC. Let's move into the balancing of this mod. During the beginning of me creating this review, the mod was more balanced around itself in Vanilla Terraria. But after a big update drop, the mod has balanced itself into Thorium's tier sets. In my opinion, this is an amazing addition to an already great mod. So I do recommend playing with both mods active to get a great modded experience, especially for you modded Terraria virgins. Now, obviously, there's more compliments I can give to this mod, but let's move into the cons, aka my favorite part of these reviews. So let's start off the cons by talking about items and armor. I know I said they fit seamlessly but at the same time there can be an abundance of weapons and armors at certain stages of progression if you're focusing just on one class this shouldn't really be a problem but if you're a person that likes to collect everything like armor sets and weapons you'll definitely be flustered with the amount there is let's talk about crafting recipes you know how it is with the mods you know they got these big crafting recipes that take a while to farm or the drop is really rare stuff like that and my problem with the spirit mod is the wiki isn't fully complete yet so at the time that you may be playing this, if you're playing it like right now, you don't really have a wiki to attend to. Like there's not much information there. So you just got to trust recipe browser. But if you don't know the name, you probably should just go on like the, the discord and go ask around or something. But honestly, that's about it. I had a section originally about the balancing of weapons and armor, but the mod kind of got updated when I was originally making the review and it's really well balanced now. So, uh, I, I got I really got nothing else to say this spirit mod review has been a nice review to do I've been following the hype of the spirit mod for a long ass time and a good couple of months before it was even released to the public now there was some overhyping that was done for this mod and also a couple of speed bumps before its initial release but once the mod came out I had no complaints at all the mod is great and you guys should play it shout out to Phoenix Blade and Grady and also all the other people for working their asses off on this mod but now, if you'll excuse me, I'm kind of having troubles finding something. I'm looking for it right now. Let me check my drawer. I can't. You know what? I'll just leave like a missing poster on the screen. So if you guys find it, please, please contact me. Please. 